voice diary may one the topic is high performance and high risk today i talk about about safety safety is very important in doing anything especially when we do highly performed and then that means uh, uh, risk get increased yesterday it was a good day for surfing according to the wind finder the chart is say says 1.2 meter the high when high tide comes up so and then i expected the morning time i enjoyed uh, surfing surf surfing uh, at the time the, the wave not big but enjoyable but afternoon uh, when I came back from the work and then delivery some bait for fishing and then I came back to the my shop and then I prepared uh, to go outside for surfing. The wave is a little bit get bigger and bigger and it was good and when I paddled out uh, it's not easy but uh, successfully I could do paddle out and then I enjoyed surfing, surf surfing uh, with a big volume surfboard, uh, red color, in red color. So, and then I did uh, a few times of surfing and enjoyed it. And then um, by doing that, and I do, I try to uh, get a big one, big wave. So in when we, get a uh, big wave we can do the high performance speed is faster and then the steep and exciting moment and that is good and also the uh, when we take a big wave it means uh, the big wave comes uh, uh, much outsider that means the waves uh, line is very longer than any other wave so and then when we choose a big wave we can enjoy and we can do high performance big wave means uh, not only the wave is big but also the steep uh very uh stopping is very good so and then uh the big wave is uh is our uh watching we try to find and then we waiting for set waves, uh, which in which three or four waves comes. So indeed, I found one big wave. So and then I did excited. I was excited, and then and I tried to get a balance and then got a sub position with my regular feet, and then and I paddled a little quickly. Indeed, I did so. And then the steep, and then I tried the performance with the carving or turning a little bit, but it's not easy to do that. I need more exercise about to perform uh, carving or turning or cutback or something and doing uh, surfing skills. Anyway, uh, I enjoyed and very, very good was uh, surfing. So, and then I uh, jumped in the water and I tried to paddle out. Wow. So, Another big wave comes. I oh, two waves up, but last big waves uh, uh, take me. So and then I fall down. The white wave is very big, and then the uh, surfboard I felt on my foot. The rishi is suddenly uh, expanded, and soon. I lost any sense. Means that support is gone away. The actually the black line, black code, a little bit older. It's, a, it's the black code is uh, uh, cut off, the leash off, and then support with the white water and then swirling and then support gone away to the beach side. I realized I should swim out. And then and 
uh, I saw that uh, the beach side is about uh, 70 meter or 80 meter. Uh, the beach side is about uh, 70, 80 meters. And I am uh, checking out the other people to the supper for the safety. And luckily, I was alone next to about 10 or 20 meters. And there are, there are suppers. So then uh, no danger to hit with the other suppers. So and then I tried to swim. But uh, I do, I did uh, the sup surfing. That means uh, I took, I hold, held uh, the paddles, the one paddle. So and then with a uh, paddle, I should swim with uh, one arm, one arm only uh, free. So and then I tried to backstroke uh, swim to go outside. But the swimming is not easy when the wave joins. And when the waves uh, uh, comes a little bit easy, but the waves go and then a little bit sucking uh, and then uh, not easy. So slowly I do that. And then uh, when the wave uh, makes the uh, surf and that in the white surf in mid powerful, I use that some with the powerful, I try to uh, swim a little bit. And then maybe I think uh, uh, just one meter, just that I can go forward. And so I, I, I use the wave, uh, uh, but when a big wave comes and then the waves uh, hit me uh, over the my head, over the, my body, and then and the uh, waves uh, make me go down. Then means uh, about five or 10 seconds, uh, I could not breathe. So I should wait when I floating up and then and when I floating up the head up on the surface and then I can breathe and then look back and then when I try to swim again and then when the surf comes, I try to go a little bit more, a little bit more and then maybe I met uh, many, many uh, surf waves and then I'm, uh, I try to stand up uh, on the sand zone and then I stand. I put yeah, my feet uh, on the land sand. The, at the time, the, um, the depth of the water is uh, up to the, my neck or my chest. Uh, I tried to walk, but uh, to my surprise, I could not forward. I could not walk forward because of the current. Uh, actually, the surface uh, water comes up and then go to the beach side. But inside, actually, the water and then go back the inside. That means uh, when I try to go forward by walking, and then the, the water is full me, full me. And then, and so, I could uh, not uh, go forward. Uh, I tried uh, a few minutes, but I realized uh, I could not walk. So and then just uh, against the current, I I just uh, stood at the same place. It just like uh, uh, seems like uh, in the river when the the rain season and waters. Uh, Floating in the river, I to uh, people uh, against uh, not falling and then not floating, and then uh, that's the same situation. So I realized that I could not walk forward to the beach side. So and then what did I do? And then I used waves as well because uh, the neck and chest water is uh, both to the beach side. The under the water is uh, uh, the to the seaside. So and then I just when the waves come, I swim and then waves push me and push me. Uh, and, <clears throat> uh, to the point of the depth of uh, wave is uh, navel level, the, the chest uh, navel level, not deep, about one 
120 uh, uh, one, 120 centimeter then uh, I could uh, walk to the beach side yes I in the end uh, I came out I uh, took my sub I check out uh, what happened to my leash uh, the <clears throat> leash is cut off uh, at the, just uh, uh, the black one is cut off at the moment. So I took a rest a while and then I tried to tie again with the other other string and then I paddle out again. I enjoyed more uh, surfing and I enjoyed more surfing and after paddling out. So my lesson is from the was yesterday surfing. Uh, yeah, I should know about uh, the care about the safety. High performance need high risk, or so. And then uh, we should prepare the high risk, uh, get strengths uh, uh, better, and then uh, swimming skill, uh, watching out or knowing about what environment, what will happen with the big waves. Uh, should uh, yeah directly experience is also helpful i practice uh, keep doing that for the safety and for example agility or poor ability in the water and some yeah that is very important part uh, today lesson is a uh, high performance uh, need awareness of safety rules and then also when we enjoy high performance the risk is getting higher and higher so and then uh, protect ourselves from risk we should do uh, practice for safety and getting exercise uh, learning about more environment in water conditions uh, yes and then the, the the danger make us uh, uh, not safe so should know about aware about our environment as a good suffers the end Using chat GPT and do probably the my diary the my um in fact um The AI is very good. Voice diary, May 1st. Today's topic is high performance and high risk. I want to talk about safety. Safety is crucial in everything we do, especially when aiming for high performance. Yesterday was a good day overall. According to the wind report, conditions were consistent with the previous days, uh, around 1.2 meters high. I started the day with some enjoyable surfing in the morning. However, things took a different turn in the afternoon. After returning from work, I went fishing and then, <laughs> what? Back to my shop to prepare for some more outdoor activity. The waves were bigger than user, but manageable. I had some su successful battles with the waves, enjoying the adrenaline rush on of riding them, trying to catch the big waves of high performance surfing was thrilling. Not only did it offer faster speed and excitement, but it also presented a higher risk. Sporting a big wave, I felt exasperated. 
balancing on my self -reward. I fell down to large to conquer with it. But then, disaster struck. I misjudged the wave's strength and fell, losing my footings. The force of the wave pulled me under, disorienting me. As I struggled to regain control, I realized I was being dragged towards the beach by the strong current. Panic sent in blue place, but I managed to stay calm. Fortunately, I wasn't alone. Other surfers were nearby, ensuring my safety. Despite the challenging situation, I focused on staying afloat and getting back to safety. Swimming against the current proved difficult, akin to trying to walk upstream in a river during the rainy season. It was a stark reminder of the power of nature and the importance of respecting it. After what felt like eternity, I finally reached the shore, just but grateful to be safe. This experience served as a valuable lesson. High performance requires more than just skill. It demands caution and preparedness. We must all, always prior, 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 prioritize safety, especially in high-risk activities like surfing. Today's lesson reinforced the importance of being vigilant and aware of our surroundings. As we strive for greater achievement, we must also increase our effort to protect ourselves. Safety should never be overlooked, even in the first of adrenaline fueled bullies. It's a reminder to always respect the power of nature and to never underestimate um, sports. Pretty good. And then uh, AI gives uh, the, the new, new version of my diary. And then uh, it's good, um, not bad.